Is there such a thing as good bid'ah? The Prophet Sallallahu said in so many hadith to the point where you don't even need to provide references, there are so many that every innovation is misguidance every innovation is misguidance he didn't say every innovation is misguidance except for the good ones or every bad innovation is misguidance he said every innovation is misguidance but we have a problem we have a statement of Umar in which Umar says this is a bid'ah hasana so how do we join between the two? I want someone to give me a, an idea Brilliant. So what Umar was referring to was not a bid'ah in the first place. But that presents us with a problem. Why did Umar use the word bid'ah if it's not a bid'ah? It wasn't a bid'ah. What Umar was referring to was something that was done by the Prophet ﷺ. When he said this is a bid'ah hasana, it was something that was done by the Prophet ﷺ. So why did he use the word bid'ah? Kind of. Okay, yeah, t take bid'ah back, away from the dini meaning, the religious meaning, and back to the linguistic meaning of just something, you know, bringing something in that is new. Yeah, so this was something the Prophet ﷺ had done, but it was not something that was a bid'ah in the, in the, in the uh, Islamic sense of the word. But a bid'ah as in, it hadn't been seen before in his time, it had been seen in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, and it hadn't been seen in the time of Umar, as in the time that the, that the person revived it and so they brought, it was as if they brought something that hadn't been done before but in reality it was done by the Prophet We have a further statement of Imam Malik Imam Malik says Man za'ama Listen to this, Imam Malik says Man za'ama anna fil islami bid'atan hasana Whoever has this false impression Look at Imam Malik, he doesn't, he doesn't wait for the statement of Umar Just forget about it Whoever invents this idea has this misguided idea that there is a bid'ah hasana in Islam, he has accused the Prophet ﷺ of khiyana, of betraying the trust that was sent to him. And that's clear. Imam Malik says whoever thinks that there is such a thing as bid'ah hasana in Islam has accused the Prophet ﷺ of betraying his amana. So it's a very serious thing to say that there is a bid'ah which is good and there's no evidence for this. But what is meant by the statement of Umar is that it's, almost, it's a type of balagh, a type of beauty in the Arabic language that you're like, whoa, this is like as if this has not been seen before. You know, you've done, you've brought something new. But in reality, when we look at the sunnah, it was done at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So it wasn't a bid'ah in the first place. So the only way we can look at this word is from a linguistic sense as in, it's as if you've brought something that hasn't been seen in your time. Even though it had been done, it had been done before.